Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days, and we're starting off here on Rahonga Savannah, where you will have just seen the animal that we're starting off with. That right there is a level 6 albino cape buffalo bull. Now, I've been spending a lot of time in the past few days actually hunting the coasts of Rahonga for Cape Buffalo. As with the most recent update and the population redistributions, Cape Buffalo now just drink everywhere along the north, south and east coasts of Rahonga. And I was deciding that basically at this point I was going to go into multiplayer and just see if maybe I could find some rare Cape Buffalo or maybe even a super rare if I could get really lucky because of the populations being reset. And this was literally the first zone I checked on this map had this albino Cape Buffalo bull. And I was really, really excited to see this. I've not ever seen very many rare Cape Buffalo. I think I've probably seen about four or five in the whole time I've played this game. So seeing another one was really, really exciting. And I actually haven't had a rare male on PC. I do have an albino and a leucistic in the lodge, but both of them are cows. So actually coming across a level six bull that was really really exciting and this guy is very very obviously definitely an albino he has that bright pink nose and he doesn't have sort of the uh the grayer facial markings that the leucistics have so there was no doubt this guy is a beautiful albino and i was just waiting here for him to turn and give me a broadside shot and as soon as he does put a shot into him with the 300 and as you can see his health is going down really really nicely there and he doesn't make it very far before he actually topples over which we see we actually get to see the uh the really cool animation that the cape buffalo have they're one of the few animals that have a really really nice animation when they do actually go over so that was really cool and of course i've got to try and get a couple of screenshots here i was being chased by another cape buffalo that had gone aggressive so i was trying to sort of get just a couple couple of quick ones just in case I wanted to use them for a thumbnail or anything but let's pick him up before I end up getting run over and he is a gold level 6 albino now I really didn't think that this guy would make gold so I was really really happy when that came up and it did actually say gold and as you can see I am actually being attacked by the other cape buffalo that was chasing me so we are going to get knocked out in a second but we did get this guy. The 300 wasn't too bad at that distance. I actually got some decent penetration. And I really wanted to make sure that I got nice and close to this guy. Because the 300 has been having some penetration issues. And we'll actually talk about that a little bit more um, a little bit later in the video. But that was a really, really cool find that I was so, so happy to add to my trophy lodge. Now moving on to the next animal and once again we are looking at a Cape Buffalo but this time it's not a rare, it's a 9 legendary. And this guy was actually on the same server as that albino that we just shot. In fact he was on the north coast as well and this guy is the big horns. He is a big horns diamond so there's no chance that this guy will troll. As long as I can make a good shot he will be a nice diamond. So this is really really exciting and it was so funny because I joked about how cool it would be to actually find a super rare cape buffalo doing this that I then find a gold rare and a big horns diamond on the same server. If only they had could have been the uh, the same animal, that would have been really epic. But managed to get nice and close to this guy, and once again using the three hundred, and it gets through to a lung nicely at that range. And as you can see, he ends up running towards us there, which once again gives us a really cool look at that animation. And I accidentally dropped to the floor there as I was trying to run over to this guy. But no doubt that this is the bigger horns on a diamond cape buffalo. So this guy was definitely going to make it. And he landed really nicely with like a really nice background. So I decided I would take a couple of pictures again. Just in case I decided I wanted to use them for a thumbnail or anything like that. And also just because these guys look so cool. I really hope that in the future we do get a great one cape buffalo. With like a busted horn and covered in scars. It would be so 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 cool. But picking this guy up, he is a diamond at 
which is a lower end for the bigger horns. I was hoping for a 160 plus, but that's still a big horns, very impressive diamond cape buffalo. Really, really happy with that. Like I said, it would have been so cool if this could have been the albino, but to get both on the same server within not very long of each other was really nice. And I was really happy that I hadn't had any issues there with the 300 on either of these guys. You can see getting just enough penetration there to get through to the one lung, which is of course exactly what you need. So more than enough to actually get that vital check and I was really really happy with that one. Now moving on to a different multiplayer server but again still hunting the coastline for the Cape Buffalo and once again we have another 9 legendary. Now basically I decided that I would just walk towards this guy until he went attentive and then take a shot. And as you can see that should have been a really nice lung shot but he runs off without dropping any health. And that's always a moment of panic whenever you have an animal that does that in Call of the Wild. If something runs off without losing health, you know you haven't made that vital hit and it's always just a big moment of panic. Thankfully, I managed to track this guy down and as you can see, he is wounded. He's at 50 to 75% health and he isn't going to die from that initial hit, which was only a flesh hit. He just won't die from a flesh hit from the 300. So I have a little bit of time here to try and get a good second shot. Now I was trying to get him to go alert and turn broadside for me and he didn't really want to give me any kind of still broadside shot so I opted there for taking a walking broadside shot as that was the only shot he was giving me and thankfully it did pay off and he went down nice and quickly after that second shot so I knew we must have got through to the lung. So picking him up, he is a diamond at 152.60. He is the smaller horns, like I said, so not a massive diamond. But just looking at that first shot that was at 139 meters, it just didn't get enough penetration to get through to the lung. But with the second shot that was about 10 meters closer, you can see we're getting a much better penetration there and actually getting through to that lung. So that was a really big relief that I actually managed to get the second shot on that guy. Would have been really, really sad to lose the diamond on him. But thankfully that second shot did enough, got through to that lung, got that vital check and we still managed to get the diamond. So on to the final Cape Buffalo clip now and I ended up finding yet another legendary. Once again this guy is the small horns legendary but these guys are just so cool to see. They are absolute tanks and seeing that nine legendary pop up never gets old for me with these guys. I absolutely love the Cape Buffalo. One of my favourite species in the entire game. They're just so so cool. I really really love them. So waiting for this guy to give us a broadside shot and as he turns there that's a really really nice shot and as you'll see immediately his health starts to drop and yeah he's not going to go very far from that hit. Once again I got nice and close before taking that shot just to try and avoid the problems that we actually had with the previous one and yeah you can see he goes down just on the water's edge there. This guy still looks so impressive even though he is the smaller horns but there was really no doubt in my mind that this guy should be a diamond. He looked more than big enough to me. So let's pick him up and see what he scores. So this guy is a 151.40 so a little bit smaller than the previous one and once again just being that a little bit closer as you can see on the, uh, the shot distance really did actually pay off with getting through to a lung. So if you are going to go and hunt the coast for Cape Buffalo on your own map or in uh, multiplayer because I definitely recommend it if you're looking for some Cape Buffalo trophies. The north, south and east coasts are all fantastic at Cape Buffalo drink time. Definitely go there, definitely go and take a look but I would definitely recommend getting a little bit closer just to make sure you get enough penetration if you're using the 300. Now moving on to the final Vrahonga Savannah clip here and I actually found this guy as I was on my way down to the coastline to go and hunt Cape Buffalo. That right there is a small tusks level 5 warthog. So I wasn't sure if this guy was actually going to be a diamond but I always love finding the level 5 warthog but both the big tusks and the small tusks level 5s both look really really cool and it was a nice opportunity to actually be able to use the 308 again. I absolutely love using the 308, I use it as much as I possibly can and I was just waiting there till I felt comfortable with actually taking that shot and as you can see he absolutely dropped so I was pretty confident we made a good hit on him and sure enough 
as we walk over to go and pick him up, you can see that vital blood. And yeah, he is definitely the small tusks, but picking him up, he is actually a diamond at 58.50. So that was really, really cool. Like I said, I was on my way to go and hunt Cape Buffalo. I actually wasn't looking for warthogs, but I saw a group of them moving past and I stood there and spotted them all. And sure enough, there was actually a level five amongst them. This guy is basically only barely a diamond, 0.30 above, but a diamond is a diamond and like I said, the warthogs, they just look so impressive with those huge tusks. It's a little bit weird, they kind of look bold at the minute as quite a few animals do in their harvest screens, but that's still a level 5, still another diamond, really really happy with that. So you guys can already see on screen what the next trophy is going to be. We are here once again on Quattro Colinas and we have a level 3 albino southeastern Spanish ibex in front of us. So I'm just going to wait here until I'm comfortable and take a shot with the 308. And whilst I do that I will tell you a little bit more about what actually happened in this situation. So you probably noticed that I was spotting what is a pretty big level 4 southeastern Spanish ibex right next to that albino. Well, I actually stood here and waited after shooting the albino for that level 4 to come back and dropped that level 4 as well. But I had a feeling that I was going to get kicked and you'll actually see that that's why there's a second vital blood spot right next to this albino is because that was where I shot the level 4 just after it came back a couple minutes later. But I just had a weird feeling that I was going to get kicked. So I, I basically decided that I wanted the albino more than the level 4. Because I have a few diamond southeastern Spanish ibex. But I didn't have an albino or any rares for them in the trophy lodge. So I decided that I would pick this guy up first. And I was just admiring how nice his horns are for a level 3. I really, really love the shape to them. I just think they look really, really nice. And as you'll see, I'm just looking at him here in the harvest screen. And you're going to see what happens because I was just about to actually hit accept and go to actually pick up that level 4 which as I said I did actually drop that as well. But unfortunately whilst I was in the claim screen the host I think came over to the lake that I was at based on where he was just before and I think that he must have seen that I had this ibex in front of me and also another one and yeah I got kicked from the server. I did try to rejoin but unfortunately he had closed the session it seemed and yeah I never got to pick up that level 4. I'm pretty sure it would have been a diamond, it looked more than big enough but unfortunately we will never know but we did get the albino so I was really happy that we actually managed to get that. Unfortunate losing a potential diamond but the rare was definitely the one I wanted to get there so all in all I was pretty happy with how that went. Now moving on to some clips from a Leighton Lake server. Now all of the next clips you're going to see are all from the same server and the host of this server was a level 3 and there was a couple of other players in here but they were all like level 3s, level 4s and the whole map was completely unhunted. There was no need zones, no nothing. So I came to this lake which is one of my favourites and I was actually looking for rare elk and as you will have seen I spotted a level 5 elk and then a level 3 mallard. So I had a bit of a decision to make here, which was I going to try and take first. And I figured as soon as I shot the elk, the duck would take off and then I've got to try and hit the duck while it's flying in the air, which I'm not actually the best at. So I decided that we would actually shoot this level 3 mallard first. I was kind of hoping he might be like a brown hybrid or something. But I was also hoping that that shot would make the elk move and actually give me a better shot because he was in a kind of awkward place and that actually worked perfectly to how I wanted it to. So we managed to drop the, the level 3 duck there on the first shot and that was enough to actually spook these guys and they ran away and then they turn around and start coming back to their zone. And thankfully they don't even get all the way back to their zone before they stop and drink here in the open. This meant that I could get a much more clear shot at this level 5 and it just worked out so so perfectly. So we're actually going to take this level 5 with the 308 and as you'll see he's not going to go particularly far from that shot. I could have used the 300 on this guy but I just love using the 308 where I can. I just absolutely love this gun. So we now have the level 5 elk on the ground and just waiting a few seconds for this duck to come in and we'll pick up this level 3 duck first 
just in case anything weird happens. So this guy is just your average common colour mallard, which they've called the commons black-brown now, but this is what the old commons would have been. And he's a 19.7 diamond, so nothing massive, but still a nice diamond. But this guy I knew should be pretty good size because this is a bigger rack for the diamond elk. And he is a really good size diamond at 400.50. Now that shot was pretty much exactly where I wanted it to be. Sort of back of the lung going through the liver into the stomach. And that is a really, really gorgeous elk. I really do actually like this rack for the elk. Something about it to me just looks really elegant. So I always get excited when I see these guys. And hopefully I will eventually start finding some rares for these guys. I have, have only got the one piebald bull in the lodge at the moment. And I did actually find a really nice piebald a few weeks ago on a server. But unfortunately, as I was in the process of trying to get a shot on it, the host kicked me and he just would not let me rejoin. So unfortunately, I ended up losing out on that. But that was a really good start to the server. And then this happened. I spotted this absolutely gigantic moose up in the north of this map. And this is basically the rack I've been after for a level 5 moose. And they have this rack. They are almost always max weight. And from what I've seen, they are very, very often 300 plus scoring. Which is exactly what I wanted for In My Trophy Lodge. And I was just so, so excited when I saw this. And I have to say, because there's going to be at least one person that will probably say it. No, this wasn't a hacked server. You can see everyone else harvesting very small average size animals in the chat you can see that the other animals around aren't max levels you could have seen it with the elk in the uh, the herd previously these were just three max level animals that i found on the entire server and this moose was by far the highlight i just was not expecting to find one of these guys for a little while i i really 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 wanted to find one and i was just so so excited when i saw that huge rack I, I didn't even have to wait for the spotting info to come up as soon as the highlight came up and i saw the rack i knew exactly what i was looking at so we're going to take this guy with the 308 and I kept that shot nice and behind the shoulder blade so that it should get enough penetration there. And he runs off and I didn't see his health dropping and he's doing that trot that normally means you've only wounded them. Now I was really really panicking but thankfully I did find vital blood and I figured that it must have just been a single lung. Now, when we pick up this guy, you guys can see where the shot placement was versus where it actually ended up. And I think that was a little bit of the 308 being just a little bit high into the right, but it also might have just been my aim. But either way, we still got through to the vitals and this guy was down. And picking him up, he is max weight at 620 kgs and he is 300 plus. He is 300.80 scoring. Now, you can see where the shot impacted there. I am so lucky that that actually got through to the lung because that is almost touching the spine and if that had only got spine and killed this guy I would have been absolutely devastated. I am so 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 lucky that it just clipped the top of the lung there and I honestly think I aimed a little bit lower than that but then of course I was closer than 150 and I was zeroed for 150. So it might have been a little bit of user error there, honestly, to be honest. But I know that the 308 does shoot a little bit high into the right and I probably should have accounted for that as well. But honestly, I just wasn't thinking. I was just too excited. I'm really, really lucky that shot paid off. And, you know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, as the saying goes. And that was definitely one of those situations. But how cool to get this absolute beast of a diamond moose with the 308. I was just absolutely ecstatic. That was so, so cool. And this rack is just epic. With those big fronts and just the huge paddles. What an epic looking moose. And he's going to have a definite place in the main trophy lodge. So, so happy I finally actually f have actually found one of these. They're just so, so cool. Now, to finish things up, we are here on Parque Fernando, where I had been hunting Axis deer in search of my first diamond with the 223 AR. And I ended up finding this guaranteed diamond level 5 Axis deer, and as you will have just seen, managed to put a very, very solid looking shot into his vitals there with the 223 AR. And as he trots off there, he is slowly losing health, so I knew I must have got through to a single lung. Now, it's a bit of a shame how long the 223 actually took to kill him. 
in there but he did eventually go down and he landed in just such a beautiful looking area that i had to take a couple of screenshots absolutely beautiful looking animal with the sun like that it's just absolutely gorgeous now it's a bit of a shame the antlers on the axis deer aren't sitting quite right on their heads at the minute for some reason but this guy is my first diamond with the Zaza 15223. So that was a really nice way to actually sort of finish this off. I'm really, really happy with this guy. Really nice looking level 5. And he's actually perfectly even if we go through the true score. And he's a pretty decent size at 224.20. Just a really gorgeous animal. I really do like the Axis deer. I'm really happy that this guy ended up being my first diamond with the Zaza 15223. But that is going to be it for this video guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. A couple of really cool trophies in here that I was very very excited to share with you all. And yeah, just thank you all so so much for watching and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.